This is Stephanie at Hightower Stitching with a follow-up to the other video, the four-row bubble wonder, and this is the border. To make those neat bubbles, all it took was four rows of a pattern, and to do my edging, it just happens to be four rows, and I uh, wanted to share with you, this was changed over to a crochet hook. I had one stitch left to hook the crochet hook on it. And like most of the knitted baby blankets, if you're going to go to crochet, you would make for row one an evenly, evenly all the way around SC stitches, single crochets. And when you got to the corner, the very corner stitch, be sure to put at least three single crochets in that corner so that everything will lay down when you get it finished. Row two, those are my single crochets. Then row two is going to be for my ribbon. Ribbon really finishes off a blanket. You don't have to include this one. But to do that, it's simply a double crochet, a chain one, skip a space down here, and put the next double crochet. And you do that all the way over to the corner. And when I got to my corner, if you look at this one, I have three stitches right on the corner. And I put one double crochet and a chain. And then in this very corner one, I put a double crochet, and a chain and another double crochet and a chain and then I got to the third stitch of that corner and I put a double crochet and a chain and I was ready to start over again to go down and that would make a nice row two and that'll make the ribbon I used was 3 8 inch ribbon so then I wanted to make sure that it was steady for my ribbon so my third row wherever I ended up with, for, for example here, I did a half double crochet, which is to start like a double crochet, but then grab your loop and slide it through the, the stitch, and it makes a half double crochet. And it's really nice. And so there again, I did uh, one in each um, double crochet and one in each chain. When I got to the corner, I added two crochet, half double crochets right in the corner. When you get to round four, you're going to be using clusters. You're going to have a cluster and then you're also going to have a de decreased stitch and that's there and that will be in the description. And then it'll move on to what actually happens in the rows and I'm going to show you where those clusters are. These two sections make the last row. And when you start, you're going to make a cluster. And what's funny is at the very top, when you get that made and you've got one hook loop on there, you're going to chain three right there at the end. And in that chain three, you're going to come back to the third, uh, back to this top, and you're going to do the cluster right there, and that'll make you end right here. And you'll start the next cluster that'll hook down in here and build it up. And then you'll chain three and make this cluster. And it's really fun once you get going doing it. And right now I've started on one that's a solid white. And I can't to see, wait to see how that's going to end. Then you can always grab that crochet hook and the rest of the thread, some of the thread you've got left, but to make a little hat or make a little car seat blanket. This is Stephanie at Hightower Stitching. Thank you for watching. Any notes that I have and directions will be added in the description. If this was helpful, please subscribe and hit like and leave a comment. Thank you.